Hi, my name is Claudia. Welcome. So glad you're here. You can find me on all other social media channels at I am Claudia Q, where I share daily houseplant care tips, tricks, styling, and DIY. For today's video, we are going to be giving my Monstera Adansonii and Mint a little bit of TLC. You can see all the bottom leaves are missing. So I went on vacation two weeks ago. Right before leaving, I noticed all the bottom leaves were starting to yellow. And honestly, I just ran out of time to really uproot it and inspect it more thoroughly. And when I got back, they were all brown. I could just pick right off. But in the process, it did give me two new leaves, these two top ones. I was so excited. This was my very first moss pole. The very first moss pole, I had roots grow into the moss. My first moss pole extension. And unfortunately, it's kind of like I'm starting over with it. But like I said, the plant is healthy, so I'm hopeful that it's just a minor speed bump in its growth process. So typically when something like this happens, the plant is missing something, whether light, nutrients, or you know something is missing. I did peek at the roots before leaving in the pole and in the pot, and everything looked nice and healthy. So again, I can only assume it's some kind of deficiency. So this is where we are now. And to make it look a little better, I'm thinking I'm going to chop uh, right below the for, you know where the leaves start again and are healthy there are quite a bit of roots in the pole so that will be i'm going to pot that into the soil into the pot and that will become the new plant and then these bottom nodes i'll just cut each individually and try to reroot to hopefully get new plants so let's get started and see how this goes so just please bear in mind that i'm not totally sure what i'm doing this is my first time attempting or trying to do anything like this so just wish me luck. I'm gonna start by removing it from its catch pot. I used a really flimsy nursery pot to pot it in, so I feel like it's always getting stuck. Here it is. And here are the roots all in the pot. I mean, it looks really good and healthy to me. Like I said, I, I'm not really sure what the deficiency is. And really what I think I'm going to do is, since these Russo poles open in the front, I think I'm just going to bring the whole plant out and reposition accordingly in how I would like it in the pot. You know, I'm actually wondering if I just chop it and redo the top if it will trigger new growth points along the original line because it's all just so nicely rooted in here. Let's, I think I'm going to do that. I think that that's what I'm going to do because... Um, that's just what I'm thinking. So I cut it right here so that there could be a couple nodes that hopefully continue to root. This plant did so good at rooting in here. Not really sure what I'm doing here. My idea was to free the moss with the roots. Um, but I don't know that I can. I'm just gonna open this whole pole and since this is the damaged area anyway, just release all of it. Build a moss pole, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh my god. I don't think I was ready for this mess. Look at how many roots. This is so nice. Okay. Okay, well, the good news is I should have plenty of roots to pot into soil and for it to keep going, hopefully. Um, the bad news is, per usual, moss is a pain to handle. Okay, so here is my bottom half. I do notice this is yellowing, but I have noticed this happen sometimes. And this aerial root up here is growing really nicely. So I am going to try to repot this along with this. And I'm thinking I am going to have to reposition it in this pole as well, unfortunately. Okay, let's put this to the side for now. This mess is another level. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to move this to the floor because this makeshift table is not working out. And I'm also going to pivot you down so that you can get a better look at what I'm doing. I'm just going to try to remove all of this moss because this is what now would be going into the new pot. And it has, like I said, really good roots. So I'm hopeful this can just transition into the soil very easily. I removed as much as I can. I'm gonna soak it in water for a minute to see if anything additional comes out. Ideally, I would want all of it to be off because I don't love roots sitting in moss or like the primary roots anyway, because they just hold on to, the moss hold on to too much moisture and we know how we feel about potentially overwatering or having the roots uh, sit wet for too long. So just going to leave it in here for a few minutes while I prep everything else. But I'm really, really happy with the way that these roots look and I'm hopeful that it will make a good transition into soil. In the meantime, I guess I'm going to undo this pole so that I can get the rest of the plant out and place it more higher up on the pole where I'm going to eventually want it to be. This one has two nodes super close to each other attached to the moss, so it's making it a little difficult to unclip this particular one, but we're going to do it. It's the last thing we do. Here we go. Yay. Okay. So I don't want to disturb this too much. Ideally, what I have in my head is we just slide this up. Probably, yeah, perfect. right into here.
Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> I hope that you can still see okay. Oh, I missed one. Or maybe a couple, yeah. That one's fine. I'm using my new Aeroid mix for this. I have been loving it on pulls. I think it just works so good. I'm going to use my favorite pots. So typically what I would do is I would place the pull in here and then um, start filling the pot, but I can't. I don't really have that option, so. I can see a pretty big gap here between the soil. So just going to give it a little bit more. I totally forgot about this. I think I'm just going to repot into its own pot and see if it starts growing. And if it does, then I can think about putting it, adding it back into the pole or what. But for now, I'm just going to soak it. I'm going to sprinkle some myco, which is beneficial fungi. Uh, that should help the roots and hopefully target any issue that was going on. And I'm going to take it in the shower, give it a super thorough watering, and then finish up with all my nutrient and fertilizer water so that we can finish this up. But hopefully it does a good job. Actually, one more thing. I do want to clip some of these leaves so that they're kind of facing in the right direction. So let's do that before we water. These are just little orchid clips, and I like these because they're clear. Um, the leaves facing kind of outward happened when I had its back to the sun. Um, yeah my fault. So I think that looks a little better for now and okay let's go give it a thorough watering. So we're out of the shower. I watered it with my fertilizer and nutrient-rich water. And I did end up adding grafting tape to the top node because it was actually not attached yet. When I did that, I noticed that there is actually new growth coming. So I'm feeling a lot more hopeful that this plant is gonna make it. Like you saw, the roots look super healthy. I really don't know what could have happened. Perhaps I let it go dry for too long. But then again, some of the moss was still moist and the roots look really healthy. So I'm really not sure what it is that happened, but I'm hopeful that this will work. It's kind of like air layering, right? So, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this chaotic rehab repair attempt at this moss pole. Like I said, I'm fairly new to moss poles. I've done a ton of research and I have a couple of friends that have given me pointers, but until it happens to you, you really don't know. And Plant care isn't really a one-size-fits-all. Our environments have so many variables from one place to another, not to mention our potting mediums, watering habits, all of that. It's impossible to say, follow steps one through five, and you'll get these exact results. So, you know, experience really is the best teacher. Everything I use will be linked down below, and if you have any questions, please let me know. And I'd love to hear from you. Do you grow any plants in moss poles? Do you have any tips I may benefit from? I could definitely use the encouragement. 
Well, thank you again, and I hope you enjoyed this video and or found it entertaining. And if you did, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, please make sure to subscribe. Till next time.